Now you know some dogs have long tails, while others have the small ones. But I'm one dog with many tails, long and short and tall ones. I live inside this picket fence, and I will never fail to have for you each time we meet another favorite tail. T-H-E-T-A-L-E-S-O-F-T -E -E Tails are old and new P-O-I-N-E-X-E-R -E -E Tell one now to you now for the story of a father who boasted too much, a beautiful young maiden, and a strange little man with magic powers. See if you can guess his name. Ach, the day is not half as beautiful as my daughter. She puts the sunshine to shame. Even the flowers bow down before her. So beautiful is she. Ah, ah good morning, Frau Schnitzelheimer. Good morning, Miller. Are you boasting about your daughter again? Well, when one has a beautiful daughter, how can he help but boast a bit? Her hair is as bright as a sunbeam. Her eyes are like two jewels of blue. Enough about your daughter. Is my meal ready? Your meal? Oh, I had forgotten about grinding it. You see, one of the king's courtiers came here this morning, and I was telling him about my beautiful daughter. One of these days, your boasting will get you into trouble, Miller. And if my meal isn't ready this afternoon, I'm taking my business elsewhere. You are just jealous because you don't have a beautiful daughter. <laughs> Good morning, Miller. Oh, Gretchen, my dear beautiful daughter. Papa, may I go blackberry picking with Maria and Peter? Blackberries? Pick blackberries and scratch your hands and ruin your beauty? I should say not. But, Papa, you won't let me sew. You say I might stick my fingers. And you say knitting is bad for my eyes. And you won't let me spin because the flax might cut my fingers. I can't do anything. How will I ever learn to be useful if I don't do anything? When one is beautiful, one doesn't need to be useful. Now, go sit on a soft cushion in the shade. Don't want any freckles on your beautiful nose. Are you the owner of this mill? Yes, sir. Oh, are you the king? Of course. You don't think I'm wearing this crown just to give me a headache, do you? Oh, no, your majesty. Uh, what can I do for you? Surely you did not ride all the way out here just for a bag of flour. Most assuredly, I didn't. Are you the... Miller with the, with the beautiful daughter. Oh, then your majesty has heard of my daughter. I've heard so much that I've had to come and see for myself. Gretchen, th that's my daughter's name. Gretchen is very beautiful. I heard that you said she was the most uh, beautiful girl in my kingdom. I did say that, sire, and it's true. Gretchen is beautiful beyond compare. Uh, may I see this incomparable creature? Certainly, certainly. Gretchen, Gretchen, my lovely. What is it, Papa? Oh, the king, your majesty. It's true. By the beard of St. Bartholomew, it's true. I told you she was beautiful, sire. Lovelier than any of the ladies of my court. Miller, I must speak to you in private. Of course. Gretchen, go inside. Yes, Papa. You'll excuse me, your majesty? With, with reluctance, lovely Gretchen. Uh, Miller, I had hardly expected such beauty. Now I know why I have never married. I've been waiting for this lovely child. Oh, you mean you would consider marrying my... Ah, oh, what an honor. Quite. But first, Miller, has this girl any talents? Talents, Your Majesty? Yes, uh, talents. Can she do anything? She is beautiful. Well, I could see that. But can she do anything? She doesn't need to do anything. She is so beautiful. Oh, there you're wrong. Every girl should be able to do something. Can she sew? No, Your Majesty. She cannot sew. Oh, too bad. Can she knit? Uh, no, sire. She, she doesn't knit. Oh, what a pity. Uh, does she embroider? No, Your Majesty. She doesn't embroider. Regrettable. Mm, just as I should have known. She's beautiful. But stupid. Oh, no, Gretchen is not stupid. She must be if she doesn't know how to do these simple, ordinary things. She's a very smart girl. 
Uh, then does she know how to spin? Spin? Oh, he mustn't think she's stupid. Your Majesty, my daughter can spin. She can spin straw into gold. Spin straw into gold. Mm. Did I say that? Ach, your Majesty. You most certainly did, Miller. Spin straw into gold. Now there's a talent worth having. Straw into gold. What have I said? Uh, Miller, if your daughter is this clever, bring her to my palace tomorrow morning, and I will put her to the test. Uh, tomorrow? Uh, your Majesty, I, I, I must confess, I was <laughs> boasting. Boasting? <laughs> you want to keep her talent for yourself. Oh, no, it's not that. No excuses. Bring her to the palace tomorrow morning. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Here you are, my pretty miller maid. Your Majesty, why have you brought me to this room? Didn't your father tell you? You are to spin this straw into gold. Straw into gold? But I don't know how to spin at all. Your father said you could do it, and you shall. Oh, but he was only boasting. Boasting? It's high time it was stopped. You will spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning, or I will have your life. Oh, no, Your Majesty, no! If there is gold when I return, I will make you my queen. If the straw remains... Until tomorrow, early. But... But I can't! Oh, what shall I do? How am I to spin straw into gold when I can't even know, spin at all? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Why are you weeping, Miller Maid? What a strange little man. I have strange powers, too. <laughs> well, why do you weep? I must spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning, or the king will have my life. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't sit there crying. I'd get to work. But I can't. It's impossible to spin straw into gold. Nothing is impossible if you only know how. <laughs> Well, can you do it, little man? I could, if I wanted to. Well, please do it for me. Please. What would you give me if I spin the straw into gold? Well, I have nothing to give you. I heard the king say he would make you his queen. Promise me your first child when you become queen. My first child? Oh, but how can I make such a promise? Very well, then, I won't spin. Oh, but you must, please. Or I'll lose my life. Your first child? Promise? Yes, I promise. Now spin, please. <laughs> round and round, straw into gold, gold out of straw. <laughs> Miller maid. I'm going now. Hurry, the king is coming. Remember your promise. <laughs> A good look. Gretchen, gold. More gold than in the treasuries of 19 kingdoms. My dear, beautiful Miller maid, you shall become queen. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's a great honor you do me. Well, I'm now the richest king in all the world. And for you, is there any special wish uh, now that you're to be my uh, wife? Yes, sire. You must promise never to ask me to spin again. No more gold? Oh, well, we have gold enough. It shall be granted in the name of my majesty. You will never again have to touch a spinning wheel. Now, uh, let us make preparations for the greatest wedding this kingdom has ever seen, when I make the Miller Maid a queen. <laughs> For over a year now, I've been queen. And now I have a beautiful little prince. <laughs> it's time for his airing, Queen Gretchen. Take him out to the garden then, nurse. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Here I be, my beautiful queen. Uh, oh, the little mannequin. Uh, what do you want? Have you forgotten your promise? I've come for the child. Oh, not the prince. You can't have him. But he's mine. Give him to me. I I'll give you riches. Gold, silver, jewels, anything. What do I want with riches and jewels when I can spin straw into gold? I want the child. Oh, no. Please, take the kingdom. Only leave me my child. Stop that crying. <laughs> Stop it, I say. I can't stand to see a woman crying. Stop. But you can't take my baby. Stop that simpering. I may take pity on you. What do you mean? I'll give you a riddle. Do you know who I am? 
Well, you're the little man who spins. Yes, but I have a name. I'll give you three days to guess my name. You may start guessing now. Well, let me see. Andrew? No. Adolf? No. Albert? No, no, no. Brunswick? No. Bartholomew? Benjamin? No, no. Bruno? No. Bob? Caleb, Calvin, Christopher, Clarence, Chauncey. Names, names, but none of the mine. <laughs> Here's a new list of names, Your Majesty. Oh, splendid. Uh, Daniel. No. David. No, no, no. Ferdinand. No. Hugh. Henry. Uh, Kenneth. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Raymond. Richard. Thomas. Timothy. Uriah. Vern. No, no. William. Warren, Xavier, Zanzibar. No, no, my queen. None of these fit me. Melchior. No. Sheepshanks. Crookshanks. No. Spendleshanks. No. You'll never guess my name. Never in a million years. <laughs> Only one more day and then the prince will be mine. <laughs> Gretchen. Gretchen, my dear. Father, what is it? I was, I was walking in the woods. Woods? Uh, woods, could that be his name? No, no, no. I, I, was, I was picking blackberries. Blackberries? Could that be his name? No, no, listen. I was, I was picking blackberries when, when I saw this little house. And, and out in front of the house was, was a man in a pointed cap. And he was standing around the fire, dancing a little dance. And, and, and the man with the pointed cap had a beard. And the little mannequin. Yeah, and, and he was singing a song. He was singing like this. And now I brew and now I bake. And then the prince away I'll take. For no one knows that in this game, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Rumpelstiltskin? That <laughs> must be it. Here I be, my beautiful queen. Today I give you but three guesses. Good day to you, sir. Uh, only three? Yes. Well, let's see. Could your name be Woods? No, no, but something in the woods and out of the woods. <laughs> I see. Uh, blackberries. Blackberries? No, no, but you're getting warmer. <laughs> well, then it must be... Rumpelstiltskin! Rumpelstiltskin! Who told you? Some demon must have told you. Or some witch! Now I'm angry, and when I get angry... Oh! I've disappeared. And my little prince is safe. <laughs> you will never have to boast again. Uh, did you ever see such a handsome baby? Truly the handsomest baby ever born. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin was a funny little elf, wasn't he? You know, if he had danced around much closer to his campfire, he might have gotten burned. Fire is nothing to be played with. When you go camping, don't try to build a campfire yourself. Let an adult who's experienced take care of it. And above all, never play with matches. Just remember this slogan. If you play with fire, you can expect to get burned. Till next time, this is Poindexter saying so long. The Tales of Poindexter are produced for the Educational Television and Radio Center by WKNO-TV in cooperation with the Junior League of Memphis and are created and portrayed by Tom Titchener. Assistant puppeteers are Diane Parrish, Emma Wade, Al Gresham, and Al Wood. Video engineer is Bill Orr, and the program is produced and directed by Howard Holtz. T-A-G-T-A-L-E-S-O-S Next time that we meet you P-O-I-N-D-E-X-T-E-R I'll be right here to greet you